Hello everyone. I'm recording this video to show you what I want you to do to fill out our conference week information form and submit it to me so that I can fill out my part and keep things organized. You're going to be getting a form that looks exactly like this. Hopefully you're watching this video from the form. The first thing you're going to do is click the link at the top that says use this link to make a copy of our fall conferences document. Clicking this link will force you to make a copy of a template that I've created that every student will be filling out. On the first slide where it says goal setting conference, please click on the text box where it says student name and have your student type their name. Additionally, please go up to the title of the document and instead of Mr. Miller's class where it says copy of fall conferences, please change the title of the document to your student's name. On the next slides, two, three, and four, your student is going to be rating themselves on a few different scales, asking them questions like, I am, or sorry, criteria like, I am ready to learn every day. I actively participate in my whole group lessons. Have your student, without any input from parents or teachers, take the yellow dot and move it to the number that they feel best describes them from one, never, to five, always. If students feel right in the middle, they could put the yellow dot on number three. If they feel like they do something every day, they could put it on dot number five. Now, they'll complete that on slides three and four as well, with just the students moving their rating dots. Slide five is just going to be for me to use when I get into this document, so please leave slide five just the way it is. On slide six, you're going to see three different text fields for reading and writing goals. One for our students to add their reading and writing goals for the year. One for me to add my reading and writing goals for each student for the year. And one for our parents to add their reading and writing goals for the year. Please have your student and the parents fill out these text fields on slide six for reading and writing, seven for math, and eight for personal goals. For the personal goals, please have the students pick anything it is that pops into their mind when they think of something that they want to accomplish this year. Whether it's learning how to make a YouTube video or learning how to read chapter books, I want this to be a reflection of something that is important to the student. Once you have finished filling out the text fields on slides six, seven, and eight for students and parents, and your student has finished the rating scales on slides two, three, and four, it's time to submit this document. You're going to go up into the corner to the share button. And when you click on it, the first thing you're going to have to do is change some settings. And the reason that you're going to be changing these settings is when you share this document to me, I want to be able to edit it so that we can use it next week in conferences. So the first thing you're going to do right here where it says change link or get link, you're going to change it so that anyone with the link can be an editor. That way, when you share the link to me in just a moment, I will be able to edit the document when it comes to me. Then you will copy the link and then you can click done. Then you're going to come back to the Google form where you originally opened the document. Please enter your student's name. My apologies for the typos. Then you're going to answer these questions. This is just a checklist to help you make sure that you followed the steps that you need to before you turn this document in. So yes, I made a forced copy. My student filled out their self-assessment scales and both I and the student filled out our goal sections for slide six through eight, I can click yes on all of those. Then I'm going to take the link that I just copied and I'm going to paste it right here. That way, when I submit the Google form to Mr. Miller, he'll be able to access that link and therefore access the document because I changed the share settings. Once I click submit, that's it. I will get your information and I will be able to edit those documents so that we can talk about some of the things that your student rated themselves on and the things that you and your student talked about in the conference form.
Thanks for watching and please don't hesitate to email me if you have any questions.